this tutorial, we will continue with the walls toolbar. We will see the different options of swept walls. So firstly, we'll click on the small arrow key over here and drag this, press the shift key and let's place this right here. So let's first apply the flange by clicking on the flange and by selecting any of the edge. So we'll select this edge here and then we need to specify the angle of the flange, the length of the flange, the radius. So as you can see, if you increase the radius, you can see that uh, radius over here is being increased. We also have an option to invert the material side. And if you don't trim the support, then it will be extended outwards. And uh, we also have an option to increase or decrease the angle. So that's about the working of uh, the flange command. We also have an option to reverse the direction. Alright, so as you see the options in the flange, you also have an option of relimited here. Relimited in all the different features is just you are limiting based on uh, creation of plane. For example, we'll select this face here, go for the create plane option, and we'll create a plane at particular distance here and we'll click we'll click this plane here we'll create one more plane at a particular opposite after the creation of plane right click on the plane and click on isolate click on isolate and then go for the flange and go for the real limited option and specify this as the limit, click on OK. So as you can see, the feature is being applied, but it's really limited between the two planes that I've created. Now let's try another feature. The next feature here. That is the hem. Click on the edge. Make sure that you're on the basic mode. Now we have an option to increase or decrease the radius and increase or decrease the length. Based on input, you will be uh, getting the hem option here. You also have an option to disable or enable the trim support and reverse in the direction as well. So that's about the hem command. Now let me delete the hem. Now let's see the third option that is the teardrop. Click on the teardrop and click on the edge that you would like to apply the teardrop. You have this kind of name as you can see if you see it from the side you can find that uh, the option looks somewhat like a teardrop. So that's the reason the name is being coined for this particular feature. So let's just go ahead and change the value for the teardrop, the length and the radius. So as you can see, if you increase the radius, the radius right here is increased and the length is adjusted. Similarly, you have an option to enable or disable the trim and uh, change the direction. So that's about the teardrop. And as I said, if you check the real limited option you always have an option to change the real limited option for all of these tools now let's just delete this let's go for the final option that is the user flange in user flange option you have an option to select a particular spine and then create a sketch with respect to which the
the spine is going to run. Say for example, I'll select this, I'll create, I'll create a profile. And the only thing I have to do, the first rule is that this point should be coinciding with the spine. And the next rule is this whole profile should be tangential to this. Now after creating the tangent, press the escape key and adjust your profile the way you want it. In this case, I'll adjust it this way. Exit. Now close and uh, come to the basic. As you can see that the spine is being running along the profile. Click on OK and that creates the uh, user flange. That's about the different options in the uh, swept walls in the walls toolbar. Let's see what comes in the next tutorials. Thank you for watching.